By day, I'm a TV reporter, but at night, I write a travel blog because I love to travel. It brings people and cultures together. And when a student travels abroad, not only do they become a global citizen, the subjects they learn in school come to life. This is Globe Scholars. Welcome to Globe Scholars. I'm Tina Beth Pina from TinaBethTravels.com, and today I'm here at the Center for Cuban Studies. Why? Because we're going to talk about Cuba. I was one of the first Americans to legally travel to the island in almost 60 years. And while I was there, I experienced a country frozen in time for Fidel Castro's 1959 revolution. And yet, among the crumbling buildings and the 1950s cars, I found a country that was culturally rich in so many ways. And that's why it's a great place to study abroad, like Baruch College's Zoe Reda. For the entire two week period that we were there, it was just reporting, reporting, reporting the whole time. Going to see different government speakers, different journalists that were doing groundwork in Cuba also, different schools um, and universities that brought us into their classrooms and taught us about the science, economics, and agriculture there. So we were studying basically how the agriculture, and specifically the agriculture that took place after tourism was reinstated, was helping the economy. The the specific story that I worked on was when we were in the Vinales Valley, I got to interview a whole bunch of female entrepreneurs that were now both Casa Particulare owners and also Airbnb owners. And they basically had this private network of all of their friends and family that made an entire tourism group work out. Everything from food was taken care of from an aunt to the housing that was taken care of by the cousin to all of the amazing natural excursions that you can do in Cuba. And seeing how they had these strong, successful businesses now, just after a few years of being allowed to do that and with very minimal technology, was the story that I picked up on and the one that I thought was the most important for me to report on at that time. The one thing I actually did find interesting, and I'm sure you and your classmates did as well, was the lack of internet access. So we went to Little Havana, the Vinales Valley, Playa Larga, and like the Zapata Swamp area. All of those places would have one center within the town or within the village that had the only source of internet access that you could get to just see a bubble or a mass of people on their phones, heads down, everybody. It looked creepy almost. Because <laughs> in America, you see that all the time. Everybody's on their phones. But to see it in such a one concentrated area was fascinating. Was there anything on the trip that you didn't like? Because I know not everything's gonna be fantastic. There wasn't necessarily anything that I didn't like. Food oh. scarcity to me there was something that was really eye-opening because it is an issue. It's constantly covered in the media, I think, when people do talk about Cuba, that if a certain crop, uh, a certain vegetable was not gonna be harvested in that season, they made other plans. They figured out a way to make it work or some type of substitution. How is it different studying abroad in Cuba as opposed to going like a tourist? But you're actually getting something deeper. Yeah, I think what was the most special part of going on the study abroad trip was the amount of knowledge that I was able to pick up. I feel like I learned more in that two weeks than I could have in an entire semester taking 20 credits like I normally do. And I felt so impacted by going there. That's what travel is all about, right? Absolutely. Yeah. Well, thanks for taking the time to join us. Thank I you. I really appreciate it. And for all you people out there who are on the fence about going to Cuba, you heard. It's a great place to go and learn. So what are you waiting for? Go study there or travel there. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time on Globe Scholars and I can't wait to see where we're going next. Happy travels my friends. Bye!